Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious recipes to share with your family and friends. Have you ever wanted to make a very fancy little treat but don't have the time for that? Well, how about an Oreo ball? They look like little beautiful bonbons that are delicious, and they are, but they're no bake, three ingredients, and they come together so simply. Let's get started. This recipe is like bizarrely simple. The first thing you wanna do is crush the Oreos and you can use a food processor like I am or pop them into a plastic bag and just use a rolling pin or a can or whatever and smash them up. It's pretty fun. And of course, in case you're wondering where I'm at, this is a rental house. The new kitchen, which you can click up here for my initial update is dragging on. One 14 ounce package in here. And if you're wondering who these are for, Brian is obsessed with Oreo cookies. They are amazing in things like buttercream and it turns the buttercream into magic. Click up here for my Oreo cake. It has like Oreos in the batter. It has Oreos in the buttercream and it is one of the most popular preppy kitchen cakes. So if I'm saying that, you know, it's gotta be good. All right, I'm gonna get this on. It's not gonna be like the Instant Pot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. I actually like leaving some bigger chunks in here because you get like a little crunch. The rest of them kind of like become this like Oreo cakey situation, but if you have some of the bigger pieces in, you can have some crunch and I think that's really good. Carefully remove this and we're gonna have our stand mixer now. You could also make this with a hand beater or a hand mixer. Into my stand mixer, fitted with a paddle attachment, I'm adding in eight ounces of room temperature-ish cream cheese. I'm gonna cream it up a little bit first. It is just a bit chillsy. All right, so let's cream that up. One of my dream frostings is cream cheese frosting. It's so good that I almost never make it because bad things happen. All right, pop that in here. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. I forgot I'm supposed to reserve a little bit of this, which I'll do right now, it's okay. Just a couple tablespoons because we're gonna use some of this um, ground up Oreo situation here for a decoration at the end. So just reserve like one or two cookies worth of crumbs. And now we're going to mix it up on low. Every time I turn the stand mixer on, I'm like, what will happen next? This reminds me of making my mud pie. You can click up here for that recipe. It is like the most sinfully decadent chocolate pie with an Oreo crust. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. It really just needs to mix up. There's nothing else that's happening there. And should I give it a little taste? I haven't had dinner yet, I'm sorry. It's one, crunchy, creamy, sweet, and the cream cheese has that wonderful tang to it. So it's just really balanced, like your whole mouth is like bursting with joy. We probably have a couple unmixed pieces in here. We can just do that by hand. I don't want to overmix this and turn it into an Oreo soup. Yeah, see like right here, there's just a little bit of extra cream cheese. We can just fold that in. Set this aside now, remove this situation. Now, in your clean hands, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just roll little Oreo balls, and they don't have to be perfect because you can give them like a second roll after you chill them. And you know, no one cares if they're imperfect anyways. These things are like crazy delicious. So just enjoy, and they're gonna look great when they're dipped anyways. Do you have to dip these? No, you don't have to dip these. You could eat them just like this. You could roll them in cocoa powder. You could roll them in the Oreo crumbs. We'll do a different, we'll, we'll do some different things. I'll show you some in a minute. Yeah, if you wanted to go crazy, this could be a no-bake crust that you do for like a cheesecake or for an Oreo cheesecake. Blow some minds. Do you want me to make an Oreo cheesecake for you? Let me know in the comments if that's a recipe I should prioritize and put at the top of my list. I'm always looking for suggestions because I've been making a lot of recipes for the vlog. Have you noticed? Do you go to preppykitchen.com? I'm gonna put a poll up here so you can let me know if you actually go to the website. But just so you know, I only get to make a fraction of the recipes as YouTube videos, not because I don't want to, but just because it takes a lot of time to like make these videos, to edit them, and then like there's some behind the scenes magic that has to happen too. So there's just so many recipes without videos. You can always let me know in the comments or the community tab if there is a special recipe that you'd like me to do, especially if it's from the blog. 
These look so delicious already. I love seeing like little globs of cream cheese poking through too because it reminds me of the Oreo filling, so I get excited. All right, these are all rolled out. I'm going to slide them onto a baking sheet carefully. <sighs> carefully. These are all rolled out. They're gonna go into the fridge to chill and I'm probably gonna do it overnight, getting a little bit late in the day and those babies need some attention. So I'll see you in the morning and we're gonna get to dipping these and give you several options for how to finish them beautifully. Okay, those Oreo balls were chilling overnight, not because they had to, but because I was tired. <laughs> those, little, those little babies needed some attention. In my hand, I have one cup of candy melts. We're gonna give these just a rough chop. You don't really have to, but I want this to um, melt pretty quickly and for a nice dipping consistency, you want the candy melt to be pretty thin, so I might even add a little vegetable oil to it to thin it out. So the nice thing about candy melt is that you just pop it in the microwave, you melt it, and then you can dip things in it, you could pour it on, and it forms a hard shell. For chocolate, you have to temper it for that nice crack, and it's totally an ordeal. I have tempered chocolate before. It's not the end of the world, but for an Oreo ball, it's not gonna happen. Okay, that's totally good. To pop this into a microwave safe bowl and we're just gonna take it onto the microwave on some low bursts. So this candy melt isn't there yet all the way but giving it a nice mix there's a lot of heat on this bowl. Right now I'm adding a few teaspoons of vegetable oil in here and we're just gonna mix it in really thoroughly and then pop it back into the microwave and it'll really thin things out. I don't want a giant coat of candy melt I just want like a thin a thin coat. When you add vegetable oil to candy melt to thin it out, you just have to make sure to really, really, really mix it well. Otherwise you'll have little stray bits of oil that clearly will not harden. Already you can see that's way better. Okay, look at this, this is nice. Nice dipping consistency here, really smooth. And candy melt, once it's melted, will stay melty for a good amount of time. And if not, just microwave it for a little bit at half power. Got my chilled balls out of the fridge. And now we're just going to impale them on our skewer. There we go. <laughs> and I think what we're going to do is tap off the excess and then place <laughs> to decorate them. I'm going to do a couple different things. This is my reserved Oreo bit. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of Oreo on top. And look at that. What is that? A professional bonbon from a Parisian chocolatier? No, it's an Oreo ball. Make sure you sprinkle right away because the candy melt will dry and then you won't be able to have anything adhere to it. All right, so for this one, we're going to take it off again, transfer it over, but now let's give it a little drizzle of chocolat. It'll be a nice contrast as well. Okay, so I melted a little bit of chocolate, just a couple tablespoons is all you need, and you can either put it in a plastic bag, snip the tip off and squeeze it out. That includes a piping bag, or if you don't have any of those things for some reason, then you can just spoon it over. You just want to get the drizzle started and then drizzle it over like that. Whoa. That'll look nice. That ends up looking really nice. I didn't temper that chocolate, so it will melt in your fingers, so eat them quick. <laughs> Another easy option is just to add a couple tablespoons of cocoa powder to a bowl and you can roll the balls around in them, just like a regular truffle. Now you have a fancy treat, look at that. You can also roll these in powdered sugar. Whoa, it's the Oreo version of a Russian tea cake. It's always a sign of a good dessert when there's barely enough left to photograph at the end of it. By the by, I think Brian is gonna love them. This hits all the Oreo buttons. If you like this recipe, check out my chocolate playlist. It has all my favorite chocolate recipes and in the meantime, I'll be taking a bite. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, the tang of the cream cheese with the Oreos and the snap of the candy melt is just beyond. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.